Good morning. Same Thursday, yeah. We just fixed the solar iron, so we are ready to start doing some things, yeah. Still ill. What do we have today? We have a gateway laptop. I think that's the way how you read this thing. Gateway, yeah. Model. Let's see what model is. Model new ninety five. Okay, new ninety five. Okay. If you plug the charger, if you press the power on button, it's coming on. And on the screen, you can see the picture, but it's no light. So that's the issue with this laptop, yeah. No light on the screen, yeah. So let's open the screen and see what can be there. So based on the fact I have picture, does mean the data is fine. The three point three volts is present. So what can be wrong can be the nineteen volts is missing. The power on or the dim signal is missing or the screen converter is faulty. Okay. <clears throat> Let's see. Plastic clips, yeah. Let's see how we can take this out. Okay. Yeah. So the plastic bezel is out. Let's open the screen. Try to have a look. Maybe some other board fault. You know, like the motherboard is not sending some signals or 19 volts is missing. Or maybe it's that kind of awkward job when the connector is like only half plugged in. Yeah, it can be. Yeah, we have. Okay, so someone replaced the screen. I can see here it's a bit of paper. So someone replaced the screen. Yeah. And connector is plugged in, so I can't say it's an issue with this thing. Maybe. Let me take out the battery. When you play with that connector, just take out the battery and the charger, yeah? So I took out the battery. Let me just unplug the connector and plug the connector back, yeah? Ok, 
Okay, now we can plug the cable. And I can power on again. And now this is still not working, yeah? I can see picture but no light. Okay, let's check some things. Oh, the Greg's coffee. First, yeah. What you should do first. First, let's have a look online, yeah. Of the screen connector pin out. Google LED connector pin out. LED screen, no laptop. Laptop LED connector. And we found it, yeah? That was the easy way. I have a lot of pictures. But this is good. This is okay. VCC free pins. No. That's, that's, that's wrong. Okay, that's my book. No, I know for sure it's like first pins are the 19 volts, so it's not this one. Yeah, I think that's the one. <coughs> Maybe not. Oh, okay, I have no idea. Okay, let's ignore the schematics, yeah? We don't need the schematics anyway. Okay? Who needs schematics? Come on. Okay, let me take this thing out. We have some, like, a, like a foil over the thing, over the board. Okay, that's good. Let's start again and check the 19 volts. 19 volts. Yeah, the laptop is on. It's on volts. No volts. Ground and first pins, I think, are 19. And we do have 19, you can see there. Okay, let's go on to the Microsoft and get concentrated on the convert or on the inverter chip, yeah? So we have 19 there, yeah? 19 again, where do you check the 19? I think it's first pin, so that's ground. That's 19, yeah? You can see on the multimeter, 19. After that, we can go Okay, on the inverter, that's the inverter chip here yeah? And yeah, look, we have two things, okay, you can't see, sorry Yeah So check here 
<coughs> you have here two test points you can see BL enable that means backlight enable and power BL yeah so one is dim and it should be 3.3 and one is backlight on and it should be 3.3 yeah let's check those signals yeah ground or I can get ground 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 where is ground? Okay, I'll get the I'll get the ground from uh, the the screen connector. And let's see this one. This one is three volts, but this one is zero. You can see on the multimeter. Check on the multimeter. Yeah, that's zero. That's nothing. Okay, what I done wrong? So actually, no, the laptop is still on. <coughs> again yeah so this is 3.1 you can see the 3.1 volts that's mean 3.1 okay it's not 3.1 anymore but it was 3.1 that's weird again the left oh I'm pressing okay yeah so what I was doing, I was pressing, look, next to the screen, that's the power button, I was pressing with the screen on the power button. <laughs> Again, yeah? <clears throat> Again, oh, what is the thing? It's here. So we have 3.1 volts, we can see that, yeah? and here we have zero yeah watch out what i will try to do easy way you know let's show the things <laughs> oh. and the screen is coming on you can see this the light on the now you can't see but don't worry, that's not an issue, yeah? Like usual, we'll show the things. Because the only way to fix this is to go on the motherboard to see why that signal is missing. And this signal is coming from the Super IO chip, the startup chip, yeah? No, I don't think it's a ribbon cable. No, I think it's a board problem. Well... Well, you know... I don't really care. I just want the job to be done. Uh, we should show this here or here? Right, probably here. Come on, get hot. So after you'll spend probably a long time, like hours or think, you realize, oh wait, my Super IO chip is dead. Actually, the, it's not dead, it's working, but it's no, I have no output on that pin. And you'll come back on same point like me, yeah? Let's check now. Let's plug the charger. Power on. We have no power. Why? It's on. And we have light and pictures. So nice, yeah. Okay. So you just, just, just trust me, you know, because I go through all these things, you know. I say, you know what? Let's fix it properly. What can be wrong there? And you spend time, 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 and actually that chip is not outputting nothing, you know? And it's not worth to replace that chip when actually you can short the things and you have light. Yeah, now you cannot adjust the brightness. So it's full brightness here, yeah? But you have a working laptop. You understand? 
Okay, I will put all back together. I'll not keep you here, yeah. But that's the thing: how you can fix the light issue and what do we have to check there, yeah? The easy way. Okay. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe if you like the video. And see you later, yeah. Bye.